Welcome back to PWA for Beginners. Today we're starting chapter four, where we're going to go into details about native integrations. My name is Beth. Um, again, I'm your host. And today here with me is Diego. Diego, would you like to introduce yourself? Yes. Hello, Beth. I am Diego. I'm a PM in the Microsoft Edge team, and I'm working with PWAs. So happy to be here. So without further ado, um, today we're going to be doing the first video of all four videos in chapter four. And then we're going to be talking about our PWHS websites. Let's go ahead and get started. So as you mentioned, we're going to be covering native integrations in depth. And I think one of the most interesting questions is just analyzing if PWAs are just websites. And that kind of has like a complex answer, depending on how you think about what a website is. On one side, you can think they are websites. And on the other, they also have certain characteristics that make them a bit more than websites. So I'm going to try to rephrase this question and focus on how do you define a website? And actually, Beth, how, how would you define a website? I think from a user perspective, I just go to my browser, type in something, and kind of go from there. But from development perspective, I guess, as a de developer, I think of websites as HTML, JavaScript, CSS. Indeed. And from that perspective, it's powered by web technologies. It's something that, as you mentioned, it's running in a browser. It's something that generally modern browsers and, and modern websites already use prog progressive enhancement. They were used to websites that are working with responsive design. So they will look good on mobile. They would look good on desktop. They would look good even on, on VR devices. And it's basically standard space technologies and web APIs. So if we define a website like this, yes, they are a website. But once we start looking into different capabilities, we can tell that, well, a PWA can run on its own window. A PWA, you know, can have offline capability. It can also have branded notifications and uh, windows and, you know, several other more advanced operating system and platform integration, let's say integrating into the shared contract of, of the operating system and other advanced web APIs. So these type of characteristics are some uh, features that we would generally associate more with apps. So I kind of want to ask you now, how would you define an app? Um, when I think of app, I think more like that I go to the store and download something or like if to think about it as a developer, I think of something more integrated into the system, like from the machine or from the hardware. Indeed, and, and that's a very valid point, and it's a really interesting um, thing that you brought, the fact of the App Store. You know, so is it an icon on your device's screen? Is that what defines an app? Is it an entry on your start menu on Windows? Is it something that, as you mentioned, you would get from a store? What actually defines an app? And uh, we're going to see that with advanced integrations with PWAs into the operating system, we are going to even be able to distribute it through an application store and kind of comply with all these characteristics that we are thinking, you know, having that entry point, that icon on the device's home screen, having that entry on the start menu and even being able to get it either from the browser or from the store. Cool. So I have here two, um, a screenshot of two different applications. One is the Spotify native application that's running on Mac OS. And the other one is the Spotify PWA that's powered by Edge running on Mac OS. What, what, what can you see from these applications? I feel like they look exactly the same. <laughs> Indeed. And that's the interesting thing that, you know, even though one is the one that you can get from an application store and the other one we've actually downloaded from the browser, Web apps are becoming so powerful and so complex that it is virtually impossible and almost they're, they're almost indistinguishable. Like in, depending on the app, it's really hard for someone to tell. They will work the same. They will look the same. And there's except for some minor cases. In this case, we can see that one of them has a title bar uh, that's black and the other one looks a bit more modern, which is something that we're actually going to cover in uh, next chapter. Um, they're very, very similar. So. To summarize everything, we can say that a PWA is a website, yes, and we can probably describe it as a smart website, but they're also apps. They share the best of both worlds. 
So you can have one code base that will be running on multiple platforms. And again, with the with the technologies and paradigms that were used with web development that would include responsive design and progressive enhancement, we can have the same application that will be running on mobile, desktop platforms, uh, and even VR devices. And if we go back to what we were talking about, the distribution and the idea that an application is something that you get from the store, we are going to see that we have unparalleled reach. When you combine not only the reach of installing through a web browser, through Microsoft Edge, for example, but also adding to that, uh, going into a platform like on Windows, the Microsoft Store. So there's flexible distribution mechanisms, and I think the best part is that it's based on open evergreen technologies. If you already know how to do a website, if you have some skills with HTML, JavaScript, CSS, web components, then it's really easy to just create an application that will comply with all of these um, features. Cool. Thank you so much, Diego. So that's our first video of this chapter that we talked about RPA websites or apps. Seems like that they can combine the best of the both worlds for it. Um, like usual, we have some resources for you that you can go explore on your own uh, on the topic of progressive web apps. And then in the next chapter, we're going to talk about best practices on uh, UX design for progressive web apps. Thank you. Stay Thank tuned. Thank you very much, Beth.